There are many myths and legends that surround the state of New Jersey. The state seems to lure in the supernatural. Legends like the Jersey Devil, the unknown happenings of Clinton Road, the dozens of hauntings and spirits which cause many to do a double take, and many more strange occurrences. None of these mysteries, however, are nearly as prestigious as the ones surrounding the North Jersey High School known as Morris Knowles. Inside the brick walls of this 50-year-old edifice lies one mystery on which no one can seem to agree, the Sea Wing. Morris Knowles consists of two main wings, the A Wing, which defines the lower level of the school, and the B Wing, representing the upper floor. However, the existence of a third wing has been debated since the school's initial construction in 1964. Incoming students are told of the two primary wings, but many have reported the existence of an anomalous C Wing, some even claiming to have had strange experiences with the oddity. Here's one witness's recounting of her supposed interaction with the secretive wing. Certain parts of the subject's testimony have been redacted to prevent further interaction with the sea wing until it could be contained. Assuming, of course, it exists. Okay, so it was the beginning of this year, and I had just gotten my new schedule. I had to go to the sea wing, and I hadn't really heard of that before, but I figured, I mean, whatever, I'm just gonna find it on the first day anyway. But then, as I made my way to the back of the school, I found a strange door at the end of the And I hadn't checked it yet, so I assumed it had to be where I was supposed to go. But then it seemed really kind of familiar and foreign at the same time. It was a Do you remember anything happening to you during this? Come to think, this is gonna sound really weird, but I actually don't until I got home. When I look back at my schedule the next day, it the C wing class was changed to a B wing class. They're hiding something there, I know it. Sarah Normal isn't the only person claiming to have encountered this anomaly. We brought in a paranormal investigator to see if these claims of a third wing could be proven in any way. Hello, my name is Bax Sagans and I'm what's called an edificiologist, which is the scientist of the study of a non and non anomalous buildings. I think. We let Bax Zagan speak to a few of the victims of the Sea Wing to better understand where it supposedly was and possibly what it wanted. We have set up several monitors and devices which will, will send signals throughout the whole school and they will bounce back to us and form a 3D map which will help us. Oh man, we have nothing. They don't want to speak to us. They don't want to speak. How are we supposed to find the sea wing if they don't want to speak? What does that do? Okay, so, 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 Following Bagan's analyzation of the location where the Sea Wing is supposed to be, we sent in an expedition team to try to locate it. And from that, we got what might be the only true footage from the Sea Wing. Have a look. We're about to enter the Sea Wing. We don't know what to expect. Yes, this is the Sea Wing. All right, so you're filming? Yes. Oh, you are. Oh, okay, okay. So this is so according to Wait a minute, guys. I feel a presence. There's a presence? Wait, Hang hold on. up. Look at Lucas, did you feel that? What? I just, I just felt really cold all of a sudden. Wait, what? What? I felt cold. Oh my god, I, I feel it. I feel it. I'll put on my sleeves. Okay. Oh my god. Oh god. Now, according to the reports, this is where the uh, sing wing is supposedly located. And as you can tell, we're immediately. Guys, did you hear that? What's that? Wait, my shoes just came off. What? 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 Guys, that's crazy. Okay, so clearly there is some kind of haunting going on here. Um, this is not at all staged. Guys, I have a limp. Guys, I have a limp. He's a, a ghost. The ghost limp. Only a ghost could do a limp. Guys, I can't move. You can't move? I can't move. What? Just uh, I can feel something cold grabbing his shoulders. Wait, no, never mind. I can move. Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait. He's, he, he's, he was faking it. Sorry, I just forgot. Did you hear that? Oh wait, it's just a buzz saw in the, uh, in the, in the woodshop room. There's no buzz saw in the woodshop room. There's nothing. There's a saw in the woodshop room. Lucas, Lucas, what are you talking about? I didn't be closed for 40 years. It's been Ooh. closed for 40 years. That's crazy. <laughs> Guys, that was a ghost. 
Are you watching this? Our camera I just died. He just fell on the <laughs> Oh my god, he's I gotta get out of here. I think I'm gonna die. <laughs> There are four main points of interest in this video. The first being how Lucas's shoe is flung from his foot into the hallway. This suggests that among the entities in the Sea Wing, a poltergeist is among them. The second is when Andrew is physically unable to move. His following comment of forgetting suggests that he may have a neurological condition or at least severe memory lapses. Not entirely relevant, but interesting nonetheless. The third is when Lucas is attacked by the garbage can, suggesting once again that a poltergeist has a prominent role in the Sea Wing. The final part is when Dante is possessed, once again proving that there are in fact spirits present. We're still not sure whether the team actually entered the Sea Wing itself or a buffer between it and our world, but it seems fairly clear that it does exist. Despite the evidence, many remain unconvinced that the Sea Wing truly exists. Perhaps someday we will be able to truly determine its presence. Until then, its validity is cast in shadow, blocked by doubt. Wow, my tendies are ready.